And so step one is all about uh, getting ready, getting organized, getting a potty, uh, and just introducing it, even, you know, just sitting on for 10 seconds and then gradually as time goes on, um, sitting for a bit longer and more, more frequently. frequently. And, and I think also that thing about having the association with the bathroom. Um, I know that we sort of advocate in our community, you know, obviously our children are very visual learners and they're going to learn from experience, from seeing their parents using the toilet, from seeing older brothers and sisters and um, cousins and so on. So it's important to introduce that early and as you say, regularly, and you just start increasing that yeah. um, for our children to it, experience what yeah. a potty is. But it just normalizes it. Yeah. Sitting on yeah. the potty or the toilet is what everyone oh, does. No expectation, no expectation at that stage. At this stage. And obviously if you manage to catch a wee or a poo, it's, oh, well done. Yeah. Look, you've done a wee. And, and also talking about yeah. wees and poos, every time you they sit on the potty or the toilet, you verbalize, oh, look, sitting on the potty, good yeah. boy, good girl sign yeah. and also uh, introduce a picture uh, because we're setting the scene for self-initiation going forward oh, but if yeah. we talk about it now and use the words and it's important that if they're at nursery nursery use the same words the same signs yes. and just yeah. so we're just starting off just introducing perhaps once a day after a bath yeah. or before a bath when they get up and then gradually uh, once you've got a little one who's happily sitting on uh, we then we would move to what we would call step two 